Can't stop eating everything in sight once you start? This pattern is frustrating and has nothing to do with your willpower. I'm going to walk you through why this is not your fault and what you can do about it and share a powerful EFT tapping exercise to give you relief from this pattern. If you're excited about this, hit that like button so more people can see this video, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. And be sure to comment below with your biggest takeaway. I'm Kristen and I was introduced to EFT tapping in 2014. I learned to use it for my emotional eating and cravings and releasing emotional baggage because I kept turning to food rather than addressing the emotions. Through EFT tapping, I lost 45 pounds without dieting. And look, there's a before picture of me. I went to Paris and had no pictures of me except this one. I finally broke down and got one picture taken in front of the Eiffel Tower. I mean, how sad is that? I was also then able to lose 60 post-pregnancy pounds in five months after delivering my baby at the age of 45. An age when we are told our metabolism slows down and yes, no deprivation or crazy exercise. And as an EFT practitioner, I also help women kick their cravings and stop emotional eating to help them finally lose the obsessive thoughts around food and finally lose weight permanently, even when they've tried everything else. If you found yourself not being able to stop eating, you're in the right place. I know firsthand how stressful it can be seem to like just not have an off switch when it comes to eating, especially when you're dieting and trying to lose weight. I understand how it feels to think you have no willpower when it comes to dieting. Maybe you too have experienced being so good for a day, two days, a week, and then lose total control or know the feeling of being good all day, sticking to the diet, but then when you get home in the evening, you eat everything in sight. I'm gonna go over why this inability to not stop eating happens, how to identify the pattern so you can avoid it in the future, and as I mentioned earlier, we will do some tapping exercises to release any sort of stuck energies around not being able to stop eating. That'll be later on in the video. Now let's face it, the feeling of not being able to stop eating not only makes us feel so out of control, but it can lead to self-disgust the fact we have no willpower. We think our lack of willpower is the reason for not being able to stop eating. And this lack of willpower leads to a lot of mental overwhelm trying to understand it and figure out how to stop it. Couple that with the overwhelm of all the extra calories you're consuming, you're left feeling bloated and feeling stuffed with no energy to even fight the need to eat everything in sight. It's not a good feeling. And how is it we can be so good in so many aspects of our lives, but can't seem to handle or get a handle on our eating and have no control and be able to stop eating? A main reason is all the deprivation dieting and past dieting roller coasters we've ridden. There is a direct correlation between restrictive dieting and depriving yourself of food and not being able to stop eating. When you put your body in deprivation or starvation mode, it's signaling to your subconscious that there's not enough food. Your subconscious equates this to being unsafe. Those of us with emotional eating behaviors will find ourselves only being able to go for so long on a diet until we find ourselves going into the complete opposite direction and eating everything in sight. You may have even stuck to a diet for a year with great success and find it all unravel when a life event like a breakup or losing a job has you spiraling out of control for months with nonstop eating. On the outside, we appear to be dealing with that life event just fine, but on the inside, we are not. We are turning to food and that diet goes totally out the window. This pattern can be one of the most difficult patterns to break. If you're already an emotional eater, and then you're layering in all this diet mentality, it will ultimately result in uncontrollable eating. This overeating usually doesn't stop until all the weight is gained back and your subconscious now feels safe. The overeating stops when your subconscious knows there's now plenty of food because you're finally eating. Well, more accurately, because you're now eating everything inside. <laughs> your subconscious 
begins to trust again and will relax all those uncontrollable eating behaviors. But this protection the subconscious is giving you, this overeating because of the lack of food, will always be lurking in the edge of your subconscious because so far you have not built up a lot of trust with it yet. This roller coaster pattern can leave you feeling defeated and out searching for another diet that will help you reach your weight loss goals once and for all. You know that magic elusive diet where you lose weight fast and easy and permanently? Have you found that magic diet yet? <laughs> it doesn't exist. I'm here to tell you that another diet is not going to work. Your subconscious has too many protective layers stopping your efforts to lose weight. These subconscious protective patterns are also known as weight loss blocks. And if you remember from my other videos, your subconscious programming is running the show. Your willpower will not overcome your subconscious programming. And those weight loss blocks in your subconscious need to be released for you to have weight loss success. It has nothing to do with your willpower. And EFT tapping is a great way to release those blocks quickly. You really have two choices now. Choice one, you can start working on releasing your weight loss blocks. You finally feel free of all these out of control eating patterns. Or choice two, you can stop the video and find another fad diet and see if you get different results. Since we already know what the result of choice two will be, <laughs> I highly recommend choice number one. And I can help you along the way with choice number one. And let me just start now by leading you through a couple of rounds of tapping so you can start releasing those triggers that are causing this feeling of not being able to stop eating everything. If you're not sure what EFT tapping is or how to tap, check out these two videos that explain everything. And as a reminder, please take personal responsibility for yourself throughout this process as emotions may come up. So please reach out for the individual support you may need. Okay, let's tune into that feeling of eating everything in sight and the frustration of not being able to stop. This feeling of not being hungry and still eating without stopping. Just get into that feeling and give it a rating between zero and 10 with 10 being the absolute worst feeling. I want you to follow along and repeat after me out loud. Even though I can't stop eating everything in sight. No matter how hard I try, I deeply love and completely accept myself. I can't stop eating. I can't stop eating everything in sight. I eat on autopilot. Sometimes I don't think I will ever stop. I'll eat a complete meal and an hour later I'll be in the fridge. Looking for something more. I can't stop eating everything. This is so frustrating. This pattern stops me from losing weight. I'll never have the body I want. Eating too much food. It's so frustrating. I'm good at so many things except this. I can't lose the weight. Anytime I try, I end up eating everything in sight. I can't stick to any diet because I have this problem. I have no willpower. And I don't see how this will ever stop. I'm going to be stuck like this forever. And that is so frustrating. I'm missing out on life because of this problem. Why do I do this to myself? I just know I eat a lot, even when I'm not hungry. 
Am I even open to letting go of eating everything in sight? I don't know. What will I do now if I'm not eating all the time? It will feel weird not to eat a whole bag of chips or a carton of ice cream or a pound of chocolate. <sighs> Food has been my friend. Food helps me through the tough times. I don't want to say goodbye. I have this eating everything in sight problem. How will I ever stop? Am I ready to stop? I'm missing out on life. I will never have the body I want eating like this. I can't trust myself around food. I have no willpower. It is so frustrating. Why can't I just be normal and not have this problem? I can't lose weight because of this problem. It is so annoying. I'm good at so many things except this. I can't lose weight. I can't stop eating. Now I'm so desperate, I'm tapping on my face. How will this ever work? I can't stop eating everything. I want to lose weight so bad. But it will never happen because I have no willpower. I eat everything in sight. Okay, let's stop there. Take a deep breath. And then just tune in to the feeling of eating everything in sight. If you started at um, a five or above and the number went up, stayed the same, or only went down a couple of points, this is totally fine. It just means there's more to tap on and very common. So just go back to the start of this tapping we just did and work on it some more, maybe three to four times more or until you feel a good release, you feel a little lighter and your number decreases by more than three. Once you're feeling a little lighter, let's continue on again with a slightly different setup statement. Even though I still feel like I could eat everything in sight, and not stop. And I'm not sure if this will ever change. I deeply love and completely accept myself. I release this feeling of wanting to eat everything in sight. I release the need to overeat. I release all these negative feelings coming up for me right now. I release the anxiety. I release the stress. I release the overwhelm. I don't think this tapping is going to help. I'm going to be stuck like this forever. Am I even open to releasing my patterns of eating everything in sight? I don't know. But I'm open to the possibility I release the need to eat everything in sight. I let go of any old beliefs or emotions that are triggering this pattern. I release my belief that I have no willpower. 
I release the desire to eat everything in sight. I let go of any and all desire to eat everything in sight. I release the need to eat everything in sight. Releasing and relaxing. Releasing the frustration. Releasing any beliefs, memories, patterns, or emotions that are driving me to eat everything in sight. I have this eating problem. I release this eating problem. I release the control I think food has over me. I release this eating problem. Okay, let's stop there. I'll take a deep breath in. <sighs> Slowly release. Now tune in again to your feeling of needing to eat everything in sight. Get into that. Now rate the feeling from zero to 10. If you decreased more than two points, that means we are getting to the part of you that's starting to shift and being open to the possibility of letting go of this pattern. And that's pretty exciting. Clearing those negative thoughts will give that part of you that is willing to change a voice now in your subconscious. This voice will grow as you continue to do this work. But you must do the work. As this happens, that's when you can start losing weight naturally without dieting. That's when you no longer eat everything in sight without even realizing it to the point where you may even forget you ever had this problem of not being able to stop eating. Let's now tap for that emerging voice and give it some positive messages to grow with. Even though I have this habit of eating everything in sight and I can't stop, I also know that part of my subconscious is starting to change. And I'm giving her positivity to grow even more. I'm still nervous that I'll continue to eat everything in sight. Which makes sense. Because I know I can't stop eating. This won't work. I'm also nervous about what I'll do now if I'm not overeating. That's a new feeling. Can I find something more positive to do rather than eat and eat and eat? I'm open to being in control. I'm open to finding something positive to do rather than eat and eat. I'm open to forgiving myself if it happens again. I am in control of my eating habits now. I eat when I'm hungry and I stop when I've had enough. I listen to my body's needs. I love to eat healthily. I feed my body what it needs. I'm open to changing to healthier habits. I'm in control of what and when I eat. Food does not control me. I love and respect my body. I'm nervous about continuing to eat everything in sight. I'm 
also nervous about how to fill my time when I'm not overeating. I'm nervous about continuing to eat and not being able to stop. It's okay to be nervous. I'm open to the possibility for me to deal with both in a healthy way. I choose eating habits that nourish me. I eat when I'm hungry. I stop when my body tells me I've had enough. I am in tune with the needs of my body. I'm nervous about still eating and not being able to stop. I'm nervous about being in tune with my body. I'm releasing and relaxing all this nervousness. Releasing and relaxing. I'm in control of what and when I eat. I make healthy choices now. I love to eat healthily. If I find myself again not being able to stop, I know I have the tools to help me through it. I know I can tap while I'm eating to take the emotional charge out of what is happening. And I'll forgive myself and know it'll be okay. After all, I'm not a robot. I make healthy choices for myself now. I'm in tune with the needs of my body. All right, let's stop there. Let's take a deep breath. Slowly let it out. Now we have started to plant the seeds in your subconscious to really change this pattern. We are also opening up your subconscious to a healthier relationship with food. You'll wanna do this exercise daily to help those seeds grow and permanently change these patterns. What was your favorite discovery as you tapped on the exercise today? Did any thought patterns shift? Did you have any aha moments? Let me know what it was in the comment section below. Now, EFT tapping solves so many issues in one or two sessions like fear of flying or feeling bad about being treated poorly by someone, um, overwhelm about quitting your job to start your own business. Those emotional events can be released in one, two, sometimes three sessions. And the client doesn't even give the emotional event the time of day. They in fact can forget it was ever an issue. However, this is not the case with unhealthy relationship with food and unhealthy eating patterns. Using EFT to correct this doesn't happen in one session or even two sessions. Major progress can be made in one to three sessions, but completely eliminating all food issues just takes a little longer. This happens because there are so many reasons we've gotten to this point. It is very complex. And it's not just because you crave chocolate. It's not just because you were teased. It is multifaceted and so fun to unravel. Would you rather it take six months to unravel and you never have to deal with it again? Or give up after six weeks and get back on the diet roller coaster and being out of control with your eating over and over and over again. Everyone has their own unique story for their weight gain, unhealthy eating habits, and not being able to stop eating. Once you start to release those bigger reasons that led you to this place, the smaller reasons just tend to fall off as well. Meaning, you don't have to tap on every single reason. Tapping one reason may knock out four or five little reasons simultaneously, leaving you with no reasons to keep eating and eating and not being able to stop. I know we all want these patterns and feelings to be eliminated overnight. I know we want to lose a bunch of weight by the end of the month, 
but it will take a little time as these poor eating patterns go very deep into your subconscious, releasing more of the negativity surrounding not just your eating patterns and your inability to stop eating everything, but also how you feel about your body, and how you feel about your inability to lose weight and all the frustration that goes along with it will allow your body to drop weight naturally. It can happen for you if you stick to this process. Remember to show yourself compassion on your weight loss journey. And if you're ready to use EFT tapping to release your stuck and negative energies, to have that lighter feeling and lose the weight, download my free EFT starter guide in the link below, which has step-by-step -step instructions, a tapping points chart, sequencing instructions, and a script template, which will all jumpstart your tapping experience. If you find your nighttime binge eating is the worst, check out this video to stop it once and for all. You can find the link to the video below and links to my other resources mentioned below as well. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.